Hello everybody, Thrived here with the Feed the Beast tutorial on forestry beekeeping. I've tried to make this tutorial kind of short, but I left out a lot of information, so I'm going to try and make it short, but no promises. Sorry about that guys. But it will have a lot of information. Like these are all the hives, and you can see all the names of them. I'll tell you how to get them. Nether hive in the nether, marbled hive near a marble chunk anywhere. Forest hive in like a birch forest or any type of regular forest, pine forest, anything. Uh, rock hive, you can find that in a ravine, in a cave, anywhere. It'll blend in, it'll be in the middle of the ground, you'll have to dig it out sometimes. Um, jungle hive, you find in jungle biomes, like uh, the ones with the big jungle trees. Desert hive, obviously in the desert. Meadows hive, you find usually in the plains, I think. Uh, swamp hive, obviously the swamps. Snow hive, I get, I bet you guys can't guess where that's found. Really. I'm not even going to tell you guys. Water hive, you find, uh, well I found this in very shallow water. Like a big pond that was only like one block deep, and it would be somewhere off the shore there. And you to uh, get anything out of these hives, you need to have a scoop, which is made like this. And it basically functions as a pickaxe for hives. You get bees and occasionally a honeycomb. And this is an apiary. You can make them pretty simply from, you can find the recipe using not enough items, or you can steal them from a village. And villages will also usually have some type of uh, queens or something. And these three slots here are for frames. There's proven frame, impregnated frame, and untreated frame. Untreated is all the only one that you can actually make, but it's obviously the worst. Proven frame being the best, you can get that from a trade with some villagers. And you can probably trade some villagers from impregnated frames also. Anyways, this is for a queen or a princess, and this is for a drone. And I would recommend using the tropical princess and tropical drone first. You can mix the species, and that's highly encouraged. I just don't always like to start off with that for my tropical. And as you can see, they are doing stuff because they have uh, vines right there. I'm going to show you with the bealizer and some honey. Uh, I'm going to show you what this does. And you get honey from centrifuging pretty much any type of comb. What you do here is you open up the bealizer, take whatever you want to learn about. In my case, it's the tropical queen. I'm going to drop it in there and it's going to tell you honey required, either honey or honeydew. Put my honey right there. Click on the bee. And there it is, flowers, jungle. And jungle flowers are either vines or ferns. So, yeah. I'm going to have a link in the description to the forestry wiki that will give you a lot more information um, about all the species and all that because there's just so much to cover. Look at all that. I cannot cover that in one episode. So, there will be a link in the description. Anyways, this is the lifespan of the bee. As you saw this charging up earlier, it was the two bees mating. And there's no errors because it is daytime, and uh, they have the vines there. And why is it... Ah, oh, there we go. As we can see, at night, this does not work. Some bees are nocturnal. They can work overnight, but a lot of bees can only work during the daytime, and also when it is not raining. But yeah, the nice thing about the apiary is it will tell you when something is wrong, and it will tell you what that is. And you can use this bealizer with the honey drop on pretty much every bee. But I'm going to quickly show you why I recommend the tropical bees so much. It's because you get these silky combs. These silky combs can be centrifuged to get one of these in the honey drop. Centrifuge one of these again to get a piece of silk wisp. There it is. And you put nine of these together in a carpenter, and you can get woven silk. Keep on chugging down the line, and you can see apiarist armor, which really helps you against getting poisoned from these little guys. And also, which really helps you for anything, is this woven backpack, which increases the uh, number of slots you can hold, or the stacks of items, by 30 slots. And that is pretty impressive, carrying around an extra 45 slots in your inventory and you can have multiple backpacks too so you know you can pretty much be a walking bank and uh, yeah you get 
lots of useful things from all of these, and you can get an apiarist backpack, and there's a whole lot of information. I hope that I put a lot of enough information in here that it'll help you guys. Um, you know, you can just put uh, even a princess in here. Check that out. Click the princess, and we'll see it'll take mushroom flowers, and we can see what type of climate and humidity it needs, and then we can think about that and try and think about what biome is good. Uh, I've heard ocean biomes work for a lot of these guys, so if you're near an ocean or a lake or a river, maybe just like build a little platform over that. Damn it. Alright, it's a good thing I have nothing left to show you guys. Uh, that's probably a good sign at the end of the episode, and uh, I hope it helped. And have a good day.